From cutting edge VTOLs to flying cars, we take a look at some of the strangest aircraft out there. We begin with the Auto Flight Prosperity. This weird multi rotor craft is a bit of a hybrid with horizontal flight capabilities. In transition phase, the top rotors stop spinning and are locked into a streamlined position, while the props in the backs push the craft forward just like a fixed wing. This low technical complexity design allows the craft to have excellent range and safety. This amounts to a range which will top out at around 155 miles at a 124 mile per hour speed. The company is also aiming for ESA certification by 2025. At number 6, the Starling Jet. Samid Aerospace is working towards a hybrid electric platform capable of achieving over 600 miles. It's able to achieve this extreme range through its hybrid propulsion system, which utilizes a gas turbine to charge its batteries. The craft also has a blended wing configuration, which allows the VTOL to fly at over 280 miles per hour. As for now, the company has already produced a half-scaled model. This one-man craft has already performed banking maneuvers, and more tests are expected to be completed this year. One really exciting concept video revealed a dual-winged craft with the capability of a VTOL. Now, obviously the video is a little bit of a stretch, but the company has released a scaled model with multiple rotors on each side of the cab, along with two main drives on the tail. It's already proved to be really stable, but the company has a long ways to go to produce their full-scaled model, which would be capable of 1,000 miles at 185 mile per hour cruising speeds. We get to number 4, and it's the Archer. This 5-seater is a pure electric capable of achieving 150 miles per hour. It has 12 electric propellers, with 6 being able to tilt for VTOL or horizontal flight. The sleek fuselage is also completed with a high main wing, V-tail, and tricycle fixed wheel landing gear. The Archer carries a multitude of sensors, and will be partially autonomous for VTOL capabilities. The craft will typically fly at around 2,000 feet and produce a noise level of around 45 decibels on ground level. So it's quite a bit quieter than a typical helicopter. Expected commercial launch is around 2024. So there is finally a real flying car out there, and it's pretty impressive to say the least. The vehicle can fly at 18,000 feet between cities. Once on the ground, it can fold its wings and drive the local street with a 1.6 liter engine. That being said, the craft can fly autonomously without the pilot needing to touch the controls. Asking price could be up to $1 million, which is pretty reasonable for this type of thing, and the car should be available next year. However, there's many certification questions still remaining. We have seen an evolution of the Lilium jet over the last five years, and their new model builds upon its predecessors. It's powered through electric vector thrust, which means the motors are integrated into the wing flaps. There are 36 individual controllable flaps, and each flap contains a ducted electric fan. Embedding the fan into the wing eliminates the need for a dedicated nacelle while reducing drag. Each flap is rotated by a servo unit for control. This allows the craft to have VTOL capabilities, but also achieve a top speed of 186 miles per hour. The company is eventually working towards a six passenger craft with a 150 mile range. One craft we are all waiting for is probably the Alice. This all-electric craft will seat 9 passengers or 2,500 pounds of payload. It's expected to have a 400 mile range with a 1 hour flight time, so it will have a lot of applications as well. It features a direct drive motor to prop system. The batteries are also built for a redundant 4x3 phase architecture, so one section can be turned off in case of failure. With the recent CEO stepping down, it's hard to say when this plane is going to make its first flight, so we'll just have to wait and see about this one. We finally get to the great number one, which is the Bellwether Volar. One of the most extreme crafts out there is a 135 mile per hour machine capable of short commutes. It's able to carry multiple passengers, but unlike many electric vehicles, this particular one conceals its propulsion system. So, there are quite a few questions about the stability of the platform. 
However, this project is no small feat, and they have utilized years of design and validation to make this craft. As for now, their prototype is a half-scaled version, which is remotely piloted from the ground. But if this company can make a full-scaled version, it would probably be one of the most unique electric VTOLs out there. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different aircraft. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.